This policy brief put together by the Hotter Cool Institute is an important element in the toolbox that we need to address what's often described as our triple crisis. Despite our incredible scientific and technological prowess, we remain at the mercy of the natural world. The transition to a circular economy from today's take, make, use, dispose economy is the need of the hour. It's about creating a huge, huge movement based on changing the mindset of individuals. Historically, we've probably been somehow prone to looking at the production angle of these equations. And we've not run at the same speed, if you want to say, um, in addressing the consumption angle, which is recognizing that the solution is not necessarily in putting the spotlight only on the individual consumer's behavior. Addressing demand in a serious way means moving away from this individual behavior sort of punitive framework that um, overconsumption and uh, in some cases underconsumption have been framed in. So we're really moving away from this idea that you, the consumer, are bad, and we're really moving towards facilitating low carbon, low energy lifestyles for people. It's a bit too bad that it took the sixth assessment report <laughs> to, to, to get to the point where we could start wondering whether or not demand was a knob we also maybe should be thinking about turning. From consumption based. Uh, emissions, how to tackle that. And here it's a lot of emotions. Can you say to people what to eat? Can you make uh, policies of how to transport and so on? And it was a lot of feelings and a lot of different ideas and ideology behind this. But we set it down together. And what I would say with it is that you need to have the understanding together. And if these are so important issues, and if we want to last for a long time, we need to have this understanding and it would be naive to think that these changes can happen only by improving technologies there will be changes in how we live our everyday lives uh, lifestyles uh, of course are very complex and they are influenced by a multitude of factors arguing that the choice editing approach is necessary and will be helpful and it has three elements. It involves both editing out the bad options, the highly carbon intensive options. At the same time, we need to edit in the better options, the low carbon options. And the third element here, we also need to make sure that everyone in society has access to the goods and services that we need to live in health and equitably. So what we do here in the policy brief is that we put together these two frameworks, attitudes facilitate their infrastructure framework and this choice editing pillars as I just introduced to you. And we then get this, what we can call the AFIS matrix, for enabling sustainable lifestyles. What we then do is that we apply this to key, key sectors. Everybody needs to feel that the challenge is owned by all of them, that they have a common vision and a common objective, that it's important to make people realize that they're making a difference to the world. Mm -hmm.